Hey guys, welcome back. On this vehicle, we have no cruise control operation. This is a 2008 Toyota Tacoma with a manual transmission, four liter V6 engine. Normally on a Toyota, when you push the button for the cruise control, this is the on off button. A cruise control light will illuminate on the dash. That does not happen. The set does not work. So we are going to have to try and diagnose why this switch is not turning the cruise control on. It could be a bad switch, a bad computer, a bad clock spring behind the steering wheel. But we also need to make sure that nothing else is causing the cruise control to be disabled. I'm suspecting the switch because of how it feels. It has kind of a hard click. I'm suspecting the switch because of how it feels. The on off button has a really hard click. Plus the whole cruise control stock goes in. I don't know if that's normal, but on my other Toyotas that does not happen. This truck's not mine, so I don't know if that's normal, if it's always been that way, but I really don't like the way that button feels. So there is a cover that I can pop off. I can look down in there. I don't know if I can get to the wiring through there, so more than likely I'm going to have to take the airbag off. But before I do that, I'm going to scan it and see if there's anything I can figure out electronically through the scan tool before I tear stuff apart. Because once you go to take the airbag off, you have to unhook the battery. So voltage testing becomes more difficult unless I hook up the battery once I have the airbag unit out of here and do my testing then. So according to this, Everything is controlled by the ECM. All of the inputs go to the ECM, and then the ECM controls the throttle body for cruise control operation. So I'm gonna go into the engine module, check codes first of all, because if there's codes for the switch or for the speed sensor, then it'll point me in the right direction. There are no codes, so it may not have detected a fault yet. Looking at this flow chart, there is nothing in the switch that remains connected unless you are pushing a button. So it cannot do a check on the switch or the circuit. If they would have put a small resistor in here somewhere, then the PCM or the ECM could have actively checked the circuit the entire time and then only when these other switches were pressed the resistance would change telling the ECM to change what mode it's in but since there's no resistor in this circuit the ECM can't tell if there's a broken wire anywhere in this entire circuit. I'm not sure where the cruise control data is. This is electronic throttle control system. So it might be in there. It's not in a fail safe mode, so that shouldn't be causing it. Let's see if the stoplight switch works. That's working, so we know that's not a problem. And it doesn't give us any data for cruise control. 
So we're going to have to switch to a different section. Okay, so there is no data. As far as I can see, for cruise control. System test only shows EVAP, possibly the troubleshooter. I don't see anything here for cruise control. Just to make sure, I'm going to go back, see if there's a cruise control module listed, and there is. Now this is built into the ECM, but apparently they're wanting you to access it from a different menu. Check codes. No codes. We have data. Okay, cruise control off. Cruise control main switch. I don't get any change of state in any of these. Oh, right there we do. So the cancel works. The coast works. Let me scroll down see if we got Excel. Acceleration works. The only thing we don't have is the cancel. Sorry, the, uh, the main switch. So this button here is not working, but because I can see this data, I know that the circuit from the switch to the ECM is good. So I'm not gonna have to test the clock spring or the spiral cable, because according to this diagram, it all goes through the same wire. And if that wire was broken in the clock spring or anywhere between the ECM and the cruise control switch, then none of these functions would work. But since they do work, and the only thing I'm lacking is the main on off signal, that's gonna tell me that this switch is bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that switch and we will retest it. So I unhooked the battery, let the vehicle sit for a few minutes. I'm gonna pull out this airbag unit. You have to pop this cover off of both sides and there is a Torx bolt that holds the airbag unit to the steering wheel frame. Now these bolts shouldn't fall out. They have a plastic retainer in there. So once they're both loose, should be able to pop it out. Might have to pull on it a little bit and spin these out a couple threads. So, without putting too much pressure on these wires, I'm just gonna lightly set this aside. And now I can get down to the bolts that hold the cruise control switch into place. Once I take those bolts out, or those two, two screws out, I'll put the new one in 
set the airbag module back in, tighten it up, reattach the battery, and double check it. We need to unhook the connector from the switch. There's just a push tab there. Slide the connector out. And then take these two Phillips screws out and the switch should slide out. Old switch out, got a new one from Toyota. The button feels a whole lot better. When you put this switch in, there's a couple of lineup tabs. Before you put the screw in, make sure it's lined up there. Make sure it's clocked in the right position by lining it up. Then put the two screws back in. Plug it in and I'll reinstall this airbag. Just kind of wiggle it until it snaps into place. And then we'll have to tighten up those two screws that we loosened earlier. Now I'm going to hook the battery back up, hook the scanner back up, and we'll confirm operation of this new switch. Going to turn the key back on. Got the scanner hooked back up. Go back into data and see if we have our other functions. I guess first we can hit the button, see if the light comes on on the dash, and it does. But just to confirm that the other positions are working with the new switch, let's check it on the scanner. So it's detecting the on off switch, which is this line here. And when I turn it on, It's turning on the indicator. It's readying the main. I don't know if that's turning on a relay or just telling the computer, hey, cruise control's turned on. We are ready to go. Now that we know that's working, test the other functions. Coast works, Excel works, and cancel works. This is also showing that the stoplight is working. So we're good there. 
So now there should be nothing stopping this from operating. And I'm going to go drive it, confirm that it's fixed. If it's not, I'll bring you guys back in. We'll go in deeper, see what else is going on. If you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell notification icon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.